that's the lighthouse, uh, Clue Bay, I'm not sure what it's called. <clears throat> Look around behind me there. So it's 9.30 or thereabouts. Tide is just coming in. And I'm heading into Ross Money in this Falmouth Bass boat. If anyone knows where I can get a cuddy, let me know. But I know it's a second-hand one. I'm willing to travel within reason. I often see a seal around here, but I don't see him this evening. I just hope the fishermen don't shoot at him. I know they're not supposed to. So there's Crow Patrick and what remains of the swarm of what's this they call them? Eskers. I think that's John Lennon Island straight ahead there just underneath Crow Patrick. <clears throat> and that's what's called Doranish Harbour and Doranish Bar runs across here there's the light for that, the green light so if you're ever dinghy cruising around here this is what it's like at low tide now there are lower tides than this But you gotta be careful, there's lots of underlying rocks and things. I still, I'm here a few years and I still get surprised. I suddenly see bottom. And wonder how, why I didn't see that on the chart. <laughs> I don't know where it got its name from, Clue Bay. I don't know whether that's anything to do with sailing or is it just an Irish word that's been anglicised. Anyway, St. Patrick spent um, spent a few years up there. He was a slave, allegedly, like us all. I, I think he was supposed to hurt pigs. He was a pig minder. I've been up there on umpteen occasions. Well, it's a lovely time to be out on the bay when it's quiet. There's no people flying around on speedboats. <clears throat> I don't know what they're all doing now because all the pubs are closed. So how do people spend their time? I, I assume they must meet up in each other's homes. I had one can of Guinness. And that does me. There was a time when one won't be enough, but these days one is plenty. So I'll talk to you soon. See you, bye.